good morning students welcome you all on your pd education so my dear students this side mentor of csc and data science and ai department mukesh sir my dear students today we are going to discuss the average weightage of each topic if you are preparing for gate 2024 data science and ai in this video we are going to discuss the average weightage of each topic in gate 2024 So, my dear students, as you know, we have the first probe and stats part. Second chapter or second subject is linear algebra. Third one is calculus and optimization. Fourth one is programming, data structure and algorithm. Next one is database management system and warehouse. Next is machine learning as well as AI. So, my dear students, as we know, Gate two zero two four already launched or. the data science and ai as a new paper this time for gate 2024 so what is the probable weightage of each subject for data science and ai part so my dear students as we know if i talk about the basics of data science and ai that is nothing but the stats and mathematics part where mathematics include like calculus or i can say linear algebra i can say probe i can say stat so that is the basic root of data science and ai so if i talk about the weightage of this part or i can say the subject 1 see my dear students probe and stats so as you see like in probe and stats we have counting we have question related to probe we have questions related to uniform bernoulli theorems binomial distribution random variable then in, in uniform distribution exponential distribution poisson poisson normal standard distribution all this stuff and as well as we have some stats term which are very very important related to g test t test i square test so we may expect at least 10 marks or i can say 8 to 10 marks from this subject from the topic probe and stats so it's a very important topic because this topic is the base of data science and artificial intelligence moving towards the next the most important topic is linear algebra fine my dear students as we know we already like have a idea about the linear algebras for csc for non csc background students all of you know little bit about the linear algebra part fine so you may expect again it's a very important topic as in the field of data science and ai you may expect 4 to 5 marks problem 4 to 5 marks problem so it is almost 10 plus 5 is 15 marks problem from probe stats and linear algebra moving towards the next subject that is calculus and optimization in this see again if i talk about this chapter calculus and optimization as we know in each and every branch this part is there and we may expect like again 3 to 5 i can say 3 to 5 number problems 3 to 5 marks problem from this part fine my dear students next the most important point where most of the non csc background students are feel confused that is programming and data structure part and database and warehousing see my dear students if i talk about the warehousing part it is new for csc as well as non csc background students fine my dear students but if i talk about programming and data structure and the basic database management system so here computer science student has little bit edge but in terms of weightage because the programming here includes the python then data structure the whole data structure which include stack queue array linked list tree hash table and in terms of algorithm we have searching sorting technique divide and conquer technique and the basic graph algorithm bfs dfs and we have other graph algorithm also fine my dear students so if i talk about this subject programming data structure i can expect at least 15 to 18 marks 15 to 18 marks from this chapter fine my dear students because it includes programming data structure as well as algorithm part now moving towards the database and management system my dear students so you can expect 8 to 10 marks from this part 
find my distribution because the most important part is here sequel part that is very important the sequel part is very important find my dear students now moving towards the next part that is machine learning and ai yes if i talk about these two subjects almost 35 marks you will get 30 my, 35 marks question you will get from this these two topics find my dear students so if i conclude all this stuff if i conclude all this stuff so we can say like with probe and stat with probe and stat that is almost 10 marks then i can talk about the linear algebra again 5 marks it is probable marks 5 and then calculus and optimization again 5 marks then programming data structure and algorithm will get 18 to 20 marks then talk about dbms and warehouse you will get again 8 to 10 marks and then ml and ai will get 35 marks plus 15 marks for aptitude and english so if i talk about 10 plus 10 20 20 40 10 50 and then 50 this area so almost 100 marks or exact i can say 100 marks so this is the probable number of questions or weightage of the subjects fine my dear students so accordingly you have to prepare for the subjects now see if i talk about the csc students so my dear students you have a great edge for this part programming and data structure so start with this part and try to end as early as possible but if i talk about this is for csc so but if i talk about the non csc background students my dear students you can start with this part pro and linear algebra fine because anyhow you can get the score from apt and english fine from the 15 marks and here if you just cover these three chapters that is 10 5 and 5 and hardly it will take like 40 hour 30 to 40 hour fine my dear students uh, so you will you will get 20 plus 15 35 marks and with 35 marks you can easily at least qualify data science and ai program gate paper fine now now again for non csc background students you can start with dbms because that is little bit easy fine my dear students you can start with dbms also because that is the because after or after you can like completing the probe stat ln calculus you can go with dbms that is a little bit easy subject fine so you can easily score 8 to 10 marks here so that will be the strategy so my dear students in this way we are expecting the these number of questions from each and every subject if you have still doubt you can reach out to your pedia and as you know your pedia is going to launch these separate batches for csc background students and for non csc background students if you are from non csc background separate batch will be there fine my dear students and as you know early bird discount is going on so you can go ahead you can go and visit the your pedia domain and register yourself and the, probably the next monday onwards we are going to start our live classes fine my dear students and if you have any query you can reach out to your pedia Thank you so much.